Thank you, Dr. Debs. I'm delighted to be here this morning and uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, I hope that what we have to present is of interest and value to you. Uh, we have about 30 si slides to present in 10 minutes, so we're going to move very rapidly, but we'll make the presentation available to you uh, after uh, the presentation. I'm going to ask Dr. Debs to change slides for me. Uh, this is nothing but uh, an acknowledgement of the uh, Center for Applied Data Science uh, for their funding and a certification that the presenters have no financial relationship, bias, or conflict that would prevent us from making the presentation solely on the basis of its merits. Next. Uh, the goals of this grant are as follows. First, we want to conduct, present, and publish empirical research illuminating the causal structure of how the patient-centeredness of healthcare providers influences underserved populations' experience of care. Uh, secondly, we want to advance knowledge regarding the primary provider theory, which is a generalizable theory of how the patient-centeredness of providers uh, affects uh, patients and its potential in particular for preventing healthcare disparities and consequently improving quality. In addition, we want to increase the number of uh, uh, healthcare uh, diverse researchers in the patient-centeredness domain. We our, develop, we, our goal is to also develop and implement a patient-centeredness applied data measurement class for graduate students. And lastly, to demonstrate the usefulness of multiple, multiple, multiple group structural equation modeling as a large scale or as a large sample or big data multivariate methodological system, which we will do in this presentation. Next. I want to have a brief preface, uh, and I want you all to think about this, despite the Hippocratic Oath, which is to never knowingly do harm that physicians purportedly adhere to, and the extraordinary progress in medical science we've seen over the last half century, healthcare disparities have persisted for populations of color and low income patients and they continue to do so to this very day across the entire uh, U.S. This begs the question, is something beyond medical and technological process and, the, and particularly the Hippocratic Oath needed to address disparities? Uh, this uh, grant and the research you're seeing today holds that the Hippocratic Oath, while important, is a necessary but insufficient condition of a healthcare system that is free of disparities. In fact, we believe a more inspiring and determinative standard of patient-centeredness is needed to achieve a healthcare system free of disparities. Next. This can be found in the primary provider theory, which is uh, grounded in uh, a number of principles. This, the most central principle is that above all else, healthcare providers, this means doctors, nurses, allied health practitioners, dentists, et cetera, must so always serve the best interests of their patients. Above all else, above whether they can pay, above uh, the hospital, above the needs of the hospital, above the needs of the provider, et cetera. Uh, the, the primary provider theory is a generalizable theory of how the patient-centeredness of healthcare providers affects patients' experience of care and a number of other desired outcomes. Next. I want to briefly review the uh, results we've achieved to date uh, in um, this portion of the uh, CADS uh, overall program. We've completed two empirical studies. Uh, the first one, and it will be presented in this presentation, 
challenges the fundamental prop proposition of uh, patient center centeredness analytically with multiple data sets. This, uh, this study has been accepted and is currently in press. Uh, the second study is an important study that examines the effects of physician patient centeredness on African-American male cardiology patients' experience of care. Uh, this study has been completed and likewise will be presented and is currently in the write-up phase. In addition, we've developed an applied data science patient-centeredness measurement course for MHA graduates that's grounded in the primary provider theory and emphasizes patient-centeredness as necessary change that favors all patients and prevents disparities. This class uh, is based on large national random samples of patients where students conduct data-driven evidence-based investigations that create prediction models and they measure the influence of provider patient centeredness on patients' experience of care across diverse populations, healthcare settings, and providers. Next. In addition, we've selected a, and are training a graduate research assistant who is an absolute champion of overcoming disparities. And you will meet her later in this presentation, Dr. Kaya Probst, who is a naturopath, a high school science teacher, full-time, an MHA graduate student, and she has another job, but she won't tell me what that is. So she's a very hard worker. In addition, we've completed eight presentations, and I think it's noteworthy that six of these have been by students. Uh, these presentations address uh, Hispanic patients' experience of care. Uh, the authors of this study are Olga Tellis and Janice Welch, MHA students. Another one addresses African-American female Medicare patients' experience of care. This was conducted by Felicia Franklin, an MHA student. Another one addresses the uh, influence of nursing patient centeredness on American Indian and Alaskan Native males' experience of care. This was conducted by Jennifer Paxson. Uh, Dr. Probst has, uh, is working on the, this one, uh, the African American male cardiology patient's experience of care, and I myself have made a couple of presentations. Next. Next. So uh, this study uh, is uh, the study that uh, challenges the fundamental proposition of patient centeredness. And that is, as you can see in this model of the primary provider theory, it's the central one where patient centeredness of the provider affects patient's experience of care. Next. The purpose of this study, as I said, was to challenge the underlying premise or proposition of patient centeredness that it significantly and positively influences patient's experience of care. The model to the right uh, was uh, specified to uh, fit this proposition. Next. Uh, methods after modeling this proposition and estimating its uh, population parameters, the results were rigorously challenged by goodness of fit tests, measurement and variance and replication tests. Uh, in addition, the results were cross-validated with the mean standard errors and confidence intervals from an additional simulated 5,000 bootstrap samples. Uh, the results were contrasted with a competing model and the model's ability to explain uh, the variance of patient-centeredness was also examined. In addition, the model's coherence with the theory was assessed, and lastly, Hochberg's method, multiplicity control, was employed. Next. Methods, again, we want to demonstrate the usefulness of uh, multi-group structural equation modeling for big data analytics. 
And uh, here, as you can see to the right, a, a, a three-factor multi-grid structural equation modeling design was used with asymptotic distribution-free estimation and non-parametric bootstrapping methods to estimate and cross-validate the model's effects across two national random samples of emergency room patients and an additional 5,000 bootstrap samples. All these measures were validated and uh, their reliability was tested prior to incorporating them into this full structural equation model. And the model was specified with sufficient power to either falsify or sustain it uh, and its plausibility. Next. You have one minute left, Dr. Eric. Pardon? You have one minute left. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't go as fast as I thought. Uh, these are the measures. Uh, next. These are the evaluation criteria. Next. Uh, the results of goodness of fit are that the model fit well. Uh, the uh, patient-centeredness of emergency room physicians significantly affected the experience of care of uh, emergency room patients, uh, their likelihood of recommending, and their ratings of care. Next. Uh, the model uh, was stable across both samples and the measures held. Yes, next. The model cross-validated well with the means and standard errors and confidence intervals from 5,000 bootstrap samples. Next. Uh, the red columns show that result. Next. Uh, the model held against the competing model. Next. The model's ability to explain the variance of patient centeredness was large and significant. It accounted for 81% of the variance of patients' experience of care. Next. The model uh, fit the primary provider theory and its inferences well in terms of size of effects and direction and significance. Next. And uh, I won't review these, and I'd like to go next to the next study of African-American cardiology patients.